Hey, how's everybody doing today? Glad to see you guys back here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, today, what do we got going on? Well, you guys all love gaming stuff that's portable. And with that said, Asus has taken this to mind and they've created a brand new GTX. That's right, a GTX 670 Direct CU Mini. That's right. So this card's much smaller than your average card, so it'll fit in some of those much smaller cases, which in turn makes it very, very portable. Now, Asus has all kinds of stuff about their card that they think is very, very important. We're gonna first jump in. We're gonna talk about the top six reasons why Asus feels this card is one of their better products. And then we'll jump in, take a look at the card itself, its specs, and what the card's generally all about. So with that said, let's jump in and let's talk about some of the specifics of this card. The new ASUS GeForce GTX 670 Direct CU Mini is the world's first and only small form factor GeForce GTX 670 graphics card. It's suited for ITX and MATX gaming PCs. It also features Direct CU cooling. Now, Direct CU, the CU stands for copper and it means it touches directly to the GPU, offering better dissipation. Now, it has a vapor chamber which offers 20% cooler and 3% quieter performance. It also features new and advanced Cooltech fan drives, which offers wider airflow to keep critical components cool. Direct power technology provides high quality and reliable power delivery to the GPU, whether for gaming or overclocking. The card is also made of superior components. It has super alloy power components, which increase product longevity by up to 2.5% compared to reference design cards. Last but not least, GPU tweak. This helps you modify your clock speeds, voltages, fan performance, and more via an intuitive interface. Most gamers out there have all used GPU Tweak. It's pretty easy. You install it, you just boot it up, and it gives you all kinds of options. You can go ahead and overclock your card. You can increase the fan speed, all that stuff, all through the environment in your Windows. So it's really, really cool stuff. Now, with that said, let's actually jump in and let's take a look at the card and let's talk about some of its features. All right, folks, so instead of giving you guys the standard unboxing, I know a lot of people have complained, oh, man, you spend too much time showing the box. So screw it. We took the box out of the equation. But here's everything that comes in the box. You get the card, Molex connector, speed setup guide, and the driver and GPU tweak all on that. So that said, let's get that stuff out of the way. Let's set the card down. And let's start talking about some of the features. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but DirectCU, DirectCU2, DirectCU3, which is coming out in the future, all designate how many fans are actually on the card. So when this card says DirectCU, it means it's got one fan. Now let's talk about some of the features. Now, obviously, this thing's an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 670, PCI Express 3.0. It's got two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. It's got a GPU base clock of 928 megahertz, a GPU boost clock of 1006 megahertz. As far as CUDA cores, it has 1344. It's got a memory clock speed of 6008 megahertz, and it also features a 256-bit memory interface. It has a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1600, and the card sizes in at 6.7 by 48 by 1 6 inches or 17.01 times 12.19 by 4.06 centimeters, which you guys will all see on the screen behind me. All right, folks, now let's take a close up look at the card. We'll start off here at the bottom. Right here, we see our PCIe 3.0 interface. I'm going to flip the card to the side. You guys can see it takes up two slots. Here's part of the direct CU cooling right here. These are some of the aluminum dissipation fins. Underneath there, you can actually see the copper. On top, we have the ASUS logo. We have the single fan. Flip it around to the back side. Here you can get another look at the cooler. All those fins going on there. Flip it around to the side. Here, I'll actually, I'll actually give you guys, folks, a better look. We'll turn it this way first. Here we see the single eight pin power connector kind of different. Usually the power couplings on this are different than this design. Once again, just shows ASUS going out of their way to make it different. Here we see the Direct CU Mini. Now let's flip it around to the back. I'll change the angle a little bit first here. Here go the two SLI fingers. So you can see this card can be used in a quad SLI configuration. I'll flip it over here. You guys can see the direct power. Something new there. 
And then last but not least, let's take a look at the rear I.O. Get the camera to zoom in there so you guys can see that. We have DVI-1, DVI-2, standard HDMI, and standard display port. And that pretty much wraps it up about the card. All right, everybody, so there you guys have it. The brand new ASUS GeForce GTX 670 Direct CU Mini. A lot of power in a small package. I mean, just think about it. It has all the power of the regular 670 all packed into this smaller little thing. So if you're somebody who wants to build a system that you can take around, I think I'm gonna use the BitPhoenix. That's right, their Prodigy case. I think this will be perfect for that build. We're looking for something to build with the Steam project. Maybe we'll go into that. But this car is really good for people who want a really small build with all all the power without losing anything. So land boxes, those kind of things, people are going to jump on that. Also, at the end of this video, we're going to have links to our latest articles over on Tech of Tomorrow. Really cool stuff going on. Lots of stuff talking about internet speeds going up and just interesting articles. So if you guys are interested in checking those out, make sure to click on those links. They'll also be in the description below. Also, for some reason, I don't know why, people still keep asking me, did we release the winners of the 100K contest? Yes, we did. We will once again, listen clearly, listen clearly, They'll be in the link in the description below to the video. So all you got to do is go click on that link and go over there. So you don't need to send me an email and go, hey, uh, I didn't see it. It'll be down there. So peace out. I'm Elric. Hope you guys like this video. If so, hit that like button. Show us you appreciate it. And we'll see you guys back here on the channel. Now off to the news. Again, it's the pawn who pays the price, not much value.